Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Uh, this video is very, very special. I wanted to do it before Easter, but today is Easter. And since I'm cute, you know, I did my makeup, be my face. I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it today. So everyone, this is my lovely boyfriend. For those who don't know, Chris. Hey you guys, how you guys doing? <laughs> like they can respond but anyways um i just wanted to do a video uh about uh what the resurrection means to me what it means to him um we recently got baptized uh last year towards the end of last year and we both decided to do it together and it was it was such an amazing fulfilling experience, Good experience. it was something that like it felt it was like a refresher it felt brand new it felt like i i couldn't be stopped i i felt god's presence i believe he did too and it was just such an amazing experience um and we just wanted to share with you guys what that felt like um being baptized in jesus name coming up from the water the music playing feeling the spirit and um especially when they said and you shall receive the holy ghost it's just a lot that i feel like is where god is dealing with me god is dealing with him yeah. but it was just a beautiful experience so we just wanted to talk about it okay you guys so getting baptized was a wonderful experience um it was something i really enjoyed it was something i felt like i needed in my life um not saying I'm just a big sinner or this and that, but we all tend to sin, yes. even when we feel like we don't sin. Yes. And you know, I'm one of those people that like, if something is done wrong, or if I feel like I've done someone wrong or anything, like my conscience, I just feel it. So I just wanted to like, clear myself of all of that. And you know, getting baptized, you're, it's like you're born again. And that's mm -hmm. literally what it felt like, going yes. down in that water, you know, and I, I really felt the Holy Spirit, you know, I, I, I thought, you know, I would come up, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I came up, but I felt so refreshed. I felt so good. And I'm sure she felt the same I way. It amazing. was a great experience. Yeah. And it was something that, you know, we all need to be baptized at some point in our life. Some people over and over. And who knows, I may need to be baptized again, but I'm just grateful that I was able to yes. get baptized yeah. and experience that for myself. It was, like I said, it was such an amazing feeling. And I just thank the Lord that I'm still here today, able to praise his name and all of that. Yes. And not only that, um, it was something we both decided to do together. Yeah. Just to give a little background information, I was baptized in 1997 at the age of seven years old at my grandmother's church. Um, she has now passed away, but um, a little Hickory Church on, I mean, in Mississippi, in deep rooted in Mississippi, in the country, on a dirt road, pretty much, um, at my grandmother's church. And I was baptized in 1997. And actually, for those who don't know, I had recently um, shared this, but when I did get baptized that day, they were praying over me, my great aunts, my grandmother, and I just remember them um, just speaking over my life, catching the Holy Ghost and speaking over my life. And that's when it was revealed to me um, that I was chosen for the kingdom of God, you know, to do great works and things like that. And that is a memory that is uh, that I hold dear to my heart. Um, that one moment in time has literally stuck in my spirit stuck in my mind it has been a part of me um so i remember even growing up after that like being 10 to 13 to 15 in certain situations that moment will be a part of me and people may ask well why did you get baptized again and i got baptized again because um I looked at that as like, let me see how I can put, I, I can put it. I looked at that as that was something that I was a child. I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was literally seven years old. My grandmother, she was a pastor, so she was, she felt not only ordained, but she felt obligated to do that for her grandchildren. So now that I'm 26, you know, I'm, I'm with him. 
we are striving for Christ, but we mess up. We yeah, mess, mess up, up all the time. Yeah, I mess up. No one's perfect. No one's perfect, but you know, that was something that I wanted to do because I know that God has called me for his kingdom to do work for his glory. And I was like, you know what? This would be an amazing experience. I would hope that we he would want to do it too, and he did. Um, and so for me, it was something personal. I wanted to show myself, and I wanted to show God that I am ready for that next level in Christ. And it's as if you're born again, you know. Right. You feel so much better, you know, yeah. coming up out of that water. Oh my gosh, it was. It's just like it a was clear slate. luminous. And you just like, yeah. not a worry in the world. That's how I felt. Right. And even to this day, I, I still, I remind myself of that because it humbles me. Yes. Like, you know, I've been baptized, you know, continue to pray every day. And the Lord is always on your side, no matter right. what. So. No matter what. Um, but um, baptism is the start to me of the new life yes. with Christ. Yes. And for me, it was more so... Um, it was a not just a fresh start, but it was you meeting God halfway, you know. But there is since then it has been about what five, six months? Yeah. It's been so a since of then, it's like that's only a, a little speck of the walk with God. You know, it's hard, you fall down, but you pick yourself back up. God died on the cross for us and forgives us of our sins. And um, it's a beautiful thing that that, uh, that baptism is a reminder of that. Yeah. That he has washed our sins away so that we can live holy lives that are pleasing to him. And it's a beautiful feeling, you know. And um, I tend to beat myself up a lot when I've done something that I know I wasn't supposed to do. Um, and I think that that's a good thing, too, because I truly desire a life that is pleasing to God. So being baptized, I encourage anyone and everyone, you know, if you have it in you, if you want to do it, do it. If you're thinking about it, like, yes. you know, if you're having second thoughts about it, like, go with that first thought. Go with the first do thought. It. Go with if you it. you believe in, you know, yeah. you believe in God, believe in Jesus, all of that. Yeah. Go with your first thought. If you plan on getting baptized, do it because right. our time is short on earth. You know, we have long, long lives to live, but, the, you know, our lives will be forever once we go to heaven. So right. that's, it's, you know. But we have to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior right. first. We have to get it right now. Right. And I just want to say, too, getting baptized is half the battle. <laughs> Like it's like I said earlier, it is truly just a speck. Yeah. It, you have to walk with God, and that walk is not like in the Bible it says you're gonna walk the straight and narrow path. That path is hard. That path is that that path is difficult, and I'm going through that right now. But it's nowhere else I'd rather be. I will get it right. I have to get it right because I strive for Christ and um, that baptism signifies that, you know. It starts with the baptism. It, it definitely starts with the baptism. So we just want to share that with you guys on this Resurrection Sunday, this beautiful Sunday that God has done for us. He rose. And also, I just want to let this be a message to um, anybody and even to me because there's times when I feel discouraged and I have to remind myself or I have to go to one of the mothers of the church so they can remind me that God died on the cross and he rose from the grave and that same power that rose Jesus from the grave is living in us all we have to do is accept it, acknowledge it, and rebuke Satan. And like I said, it's, it's worth it. It is so much worth it. So we just wanted to share that with you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. I have so many more videos to come. And I hope that you guys stay blessed. You stay in the Lord because he is worth it. Like our pastors say all the time, you don't want to miss out on the very best life that you can live on this side of the cross. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Now, my dear brother, according to the possession of your faith and the confession that you have in the blessed word of God,
concerning the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Brother Chris, I now indeed baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. 